last week's episode beautiful story self-contained story anyone could watch it and it's just a good life lesson and what did we learn we learned that the average human is a selfish monkey riddled with sins and the gamba people the isekai people they were not the problem bro at the end of the day the villagers themselves they were the problem and if only they knew but hey sensei was really cool i like that new guy in the gold armor i think his his skill was like justice judgment like the whole voice acting of that was really fucking funny i hope he you know, shows up again it seems like he's one of the only few good isekai heroes so that was pretty fun looks like we're some in some sand desert place right now let's see what's gonna happen in today's reaction holy land of desert <sighs> Sensei's not even in the coffin right now because it's too hot, right? We have uh, our familiar getting, you know, magic carpet, feeding him water. What's he got in his hat? Ice pack, ice pack. ここの主人、ニアのくせに楽しいじゃない。くせにってなんだよ。わけあって各地を転々の心へ聞かせてあげてもいいけど。ぜひぜひ。I think these are other worlders based on what they have. They look like fucking delinquent motorcycle gang, dude. Pompadour. こっから先は俺ら狩りマンの島だ。ああ。トルコ領よ、トルコ領。異界の文字。打点者。いや。天の人。先生は顔置きの中に隠れて。この中、すごく。だけのオーブン。ちょっとジャンプしてみろや。
I kind of feel bad for Chavez, but at the same time, you guys started this shit, not us. <laughs> Near. He's just a boy, not a man. Yo, Sensei, look at that. I bet Annette intentionally put his rope down like this. Yes, this is my head cannon, and it's so fucking down bad. He was like reaching into Sensei and just opening his robe here. Okay. So we need to mock him right now. We need to call this kid a fucking loser. Pussy. Couldn't even move. Skill issue. And then he'll be better next time. The wolf, right? The howl from the wolf. Where Nier's from? Oh, he's like a big bro? The older orphan kids? Yo, damn. They busted out the good shit. You wouldn't think that they could just eat meat like this in an orphanage, right? I thought it'd be just fucking bread and shit, but okay, they're eating pretty well here. It's the wolf. The wolf is donating food somehow. I don't know. I mean, Sensei, he's not even that modern era either. But like, I guess he had at least salt and shit. Like, they don't fucking have any seasoning. They just fucking... Cook the food, no seasoning, bland as shit. Seasoning. Salt, pepper. I'm sorry. Annette literally wrote it down. Annette is so down bad, she wrote down synthetic seasoning so that she can try to impress Sensei. <laughs> Oh. The creepy guy just going <laughs> in the corner over there, that's the hero. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> We don't have nice children's stories though. All his stories are super fucked up things. Traumatizing sensei. <laughs> you got anything else? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't want to die at that point, I was like, yep, Sensei definitely wants to. He's already outside. <laughs> Infinite pills, baby. <laughs> oh, damn. Like the palm trees cut down. I think I see some like monster remains. I guess the wolf did this shit. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the guy that must be donating food, right? Look at all the food here. He's a donator. So mean. Your face looks suspicious? I mean, he kind of looks like just like a regular mob character. Leave him alone. Okay. 
なんだよこっそり置いて私はみんなが元気に食べているとふんふん I'm not too sure if this is appropriate I know he has good intentions but god damn this seems kind of creepy そういう意味ではなくてですね冗談あそういえば君はえっとニアニアでいいよおっちゃんニア君あアルムナイメンバー俺今旅してんだけどもともとここの出身なんだそれからはここでみんなと一緒に育ったんだそれお父さんの俺いつかその剣がニアを勇敢な戦士になりたくてしになったらあいつらもここの出身ってことを誇りに思えるだろう。Maybe near so the whole thing about the sword and not being able to draw, right? Maybe the wolves will like threaten the kids in the orphanage, and then near will become a man by drawing the sword and defeating the wolf, but he won't be able to completely defeat it. But then Sensei shows up and then helps near defeat it. And that's like his character arc here of like having a reason to fight for and to draw the sword to signify that he's become a hero or a man. That heart touching? You're pretty kind, man. You're getting free food and shit. Sensei was busy <laughs> eavesdropping the entire time, listening to Nier's story, I guess. So Nier's gonna be the focal, uh, the focus in this episode, right? Maybe Sensei will be to buff Nier or something. Yeah, really fun time. How did you say it? He can't. Shadow Garden. Everyone deserves to. This is like an act of atonement? He did something bad in the past? I don't know. Is there a relationship between him and the Baba? I don't know. He's not the wolf, right? It's not like he turns into a wolf or anything. I don't know, but he doesn't deserve to. The crutch is as well. <laughs> yeah, he's the wolf. <laughs> he's the wolf. 200% at this point. I've got a keen nose. The palm trees outside that was all cut down with like monster limbs here and there. This dude is helping. He's protecting the kids. The wolf, the big bad wolf is misinterpreted in, into thinking he's some bad guy, but the howls, he's protecting the kids from other monsters and maybe other worlders. Yep, and that's why he has the crutches too. He turns into a wolf. Yep, that's it. like corn wolves do not intentionally go out and eat corn okay i was like i don't know he's he seemed to really like the corns here so i'm like hmm. <laughs> let's say he's hiding for the kids どこ行ってたのかしら幸せそうな顔しちゃって。ボイ。大量の食べ物がどう。It's <笑> <laughs> what a stupid fucking villain, but I think they're intentionally making him stupid, right? Like, look how ridiculous this guy looks. The pink pompadour. I think that the wolf should show up now and save Nate. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 
Nier, come on. <laughs> Nier is just a boy, bro. He ain't a man, not yet. I thought that if his friend was in trouble that he'd like draw a sword, but big bad wolf should show up now and save us all. <laughs> Not just your legs too, bro. Your fucking arms. They ain't fucking drawn the sword. Because you're a child. <laughs> otherworlder. Okay. So he's an otherworlder. He's an otherworlder that has the power to turn into a wolf, I guess. Bullied. <laughs> Wolf incoming. Lost because of my legs. Let's go. <laughs> Sensei just casually just jotting down in his notebook. He's like, oh yeah? Good story. Okay, let me hear more fucking about it while Nier's in the ground just fucking crying. <laughs> Get his ass. Kill Chavez number two right now. <laughs> hmm. Looks like he's trying to justify all these acts of violence because they're pieces of shit, which I agree with, but there's like an internal conflict, right? Something that happened in the past, he lost his legs as well. He's trying to like justify and rationalize why like this is fine. The people who took something dear to me that day were foul like these men too. Is it talking about his legs? About the friend that he couldn't save? I'm not too sure. <laughs> this thing is so locked in. I love that she's like, oh, what did he say? Something about in the past? About all those people? He lost something? Oh, this is fucking great, bro. <laughs> no, it's probably better this way, but like protecting this fucking piece of shit. But hey, near drew the sword and look at his new hair. Alright, we killed Chavez 2.0. <laughs> what are you gonna do now, Mr. Pompadour? <laughs> he stopped. A little wound on the head. So, like, maybe he lost his legs due to the bullying, right? And that's why he harbors such a negativity towards those people that reminds him of them. And he's even have to justify why killing is good. But he saw himself like the bright-eyed, idealistic kid before losing the eyes before in near, And he's like, okay, I gotta stop now. What? <laughs> I say ooh, but you know a sensei is like, oh fuck, this is amazing. He lost his parents when he was a kid, and he's a cripple on top of that? Oh my god, we found a gold mine. Oh, I thought this was his past self that was getting bullied. But a kid that reminds him of Nier was the one that reached out to help him when he was getting bullied. By Damn, that's some despicable shit. This is like 
on another level of fucking evil, bro. Like bullying a dude in the fucking wheelchair. What the hell, man? So now I need to but he lost him one day. <laughs> What's he supposed to do, man? <laughs> fucking spin the wheel and fucking tackle the delinquents? I don't know. That's the wrong way, my man. You should have fucking ran into them at least. <laughs> This is how he gets transported. Amazing. But we don't really know exactly what happened to the kid. So like the kid probably didn't die. I thought the kid died or some shit, but he ran away. Truck couldn't hits him. And this is what he's doing now. Sensei saying that's cope? What's the real story? Hold the fuck up. He's like justifying his lack of resolve, right? Even if his legs were fine. Because like he's using that as an excuse right now to say, I couldn't do anything, if only this. But I bet you even if you had that, you wouldn't have done it is what Sensei's trying to say. <laughs> Good question. Bro, Sensei is just the biggest armchair psychologist, man. Holy shit. The psychoanalysis that he does on people, just pure gaslight, but it's real. Like, it's true. Look at his face. Skill issue. Fuck you. I hate this fucking logic. Not everyone is strong like you, so don't be mean to other people. Fuck you. I hate that shit. I just despise this, like, justifying weakness by saying, like, Oh, we're not like you. It's like, fuck off. Yeah, you're a pussy. Skill issue. He still stood up for him. There we go. I want Sensei to fucking psychoanalyze near two and call him out on this bullshit and then deport the fucking wolf. No, that'd be terrible. But I think that deporting the wolf right now kind of makes sense because then he can go back to the to Earth and he can also have a redemption with the kid, right? He's probably still around. I don't know, to make up or something, right? Like the first villain that we took out, right? That uh dude who can control the beast and shit. He had a whole redemption and like got a job and everything. There was like a closure there. Nier was a man there. Time to deport? Are we, are we sending him back so he can have closure with that kid? But you're aware. Yeah. True, he's the one person that honestly isn't the shitty other worlder. If anything, I'm surprised that Truckun didn't hit the fucking delinquents when they were bullying that kid. I know the kid was in the middle, but usually it's just like the pieces of shit that gets brought in. But I guess this is one character where he is flawed in that sense, and that's why he was chosen. Good guy. Mm. Sensei, awareness, calls himself out, says, I was wrong, Gomanda. Pride, arrogance, that depict him as a failure. I'm still deporting your ass, though. <laughs> Yeah, you kids aren't getting free food anymore. Good luck starving out in the desert. Goodbye, Mr. Wolf. 
There's a lot of Korean people's names here. Kim Jin Hee, No Yong Kun, Phil Production. Holy shit. I mean, there's some Chinese names here too, but like, god damn, there's a lot of fucking Koreans working on this fucking anime. Phil Production, Park Son Hook, like, huh, interesting. Whatever their studio team is. Phil Production. Yep. Back to Earth. And hopefully, I, we get to see a bit of uh, his closure with that kid if he's still around. I like this. Just like the first guy we deported, like, we're gonna get closure. It's nice to see, like, what they are like back on Earth now. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So when you get deported, Truckun, like, drops you off? That's the implication, right? Because, like, what do you think happened here? Do you think, like, the timeline is exactly when he got hit? Do you think, like, time... Like, how much time has passed? Time probably has passed, right? It's not, like, the immediate time he got hit. It's, like, continuing here off. I don't think so, right? It's, like, Truckun had him in the back and just dropped him off, is what I'm assuming is going on. No! It's the same time! Huh, because the kid's still beat up. I thought that like the time full of passage of time was like equivalent, proportional, but it's looking like you literally just like got sent back when you got summoned. <laughs> and that is Another episode of Isekai Shikaku, another self-contained story where it's all about Nier and the old man. And this guy had the whole, like he was using his weakness as an excuse. Just like a sensei said, if only my legs were, could you, would you have actually done anything? While he was using that as an excuse, but he still decided to use his powers for good. One of the few people, other worlders, to actually protect people and do good. Now that we sent him back, I guess these kids will now starve in the desert because there's no more, you know, <laughs> meat and vegetables coming out. So that's kind of fucked up if you think about it. But hey, but in terms of, you know, characterizations and closure of their different motivations and faults, it's, it's pretty good. And we deported another character and that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.